Today for our second grade math lesson, we are going to be practicing mixed story problems. That means that some of these problems might ask us to use a math mountain. In some problems, we might be adding, we might be subtracting, or we might need to use our new skill of using comparison bars. We need to read the problems very carefully to decide which of these strategies would be best to solve the problem. Let's start with the first problem together. Let's take a look and see what we should do. Megan has 20 books at home. She gives her sister four of them to read. How many books does Megan have now? So the first thing I always think about is am I comparing two people? The only name that I see in this problem is Megan. I'm also seeing that Megan is giving her sister books. And I remember from previous problems that if someone is giving something away, I'm probably going to be subtracting. So let's make a subtraction equation. Megan started with 20 books and she gives her sister four of them. How many books does Megan have now? I'm going to use my counting down strategy to solve this problem. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Megan has 16 books after she gave her sister some of them. I always remember to look back in my problem to find what my label should be. So for this problem, since Megan is giving her sisters her books, we know that we need to subtract. Let's take a look at our next problem. Cameron has some Pokemon cards in his backpack. He gets seven more. Now Cameron has 15 Pokemon cards. How many did he have in the beginning? Oh, that gives me a big hint, second graders. I know at the beginning it said Cameron has some Pokemon cards. So I'm going to put that mystery box because we don't know how many some is yet. Then he gets seven more. That means he's getting more cards. Let's add on that seven. Now he has 15 Pokemon cards. How many did he have in the beginning? Now I can either count up from seven to 15 or I can count down from 15 to seven. I personally prefer to count up just because I think it's a little bit easier. Let's start at seven and count up to 15. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's count and see how many I went up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That means that Cameron had eight Pokemon cards in the beginning. We always look for those words to try to help us to decide if we should add or subtract. Alice has five pencils. Danny has 12 pencils. How many fewer pencils does Alice have than Danny? Now, second grade, the first thing that I noticed about this problem is that there are two people, Alice and Danny, and they both have pencils. I also saw the word fewer. That gives me a hint that this might be a comparison bar problem because I have two people, they both have pencils, and I saw the word fewer. Now, let's think about this. It says Alice has five pencils and Danny has 12 pencils. Does Alice or Danny have more pencils? Danny does because 12 is bigger than five. 
Danny gets the big bar. Alice gets the small bar. Now it says that Danny has 12 pencils and Alice has five pencils. My missing number then is in my circle. Now, if I think about this, just like if it were a math mountain, 12 is at the top of my mountain, so I'm not going to add 12 and 5, but 5 plus something gives me 12. I'm going to add on 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Let's see how many that is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That means that Alice has seven fewer pencils than Danny. Let's take a look at the next problem. Amanda has 14 crayons. She has eight at home and the rest are at school. How many crayons are at school? Now for this problem, I know that Amanda has 14 crayons. That is her total number of crayons. So I know that I can't have more crayons at school than 14 because that is my total. Since I know my total is 14, maybe I could make a math mountain for this problem. She has eight at home and the rest are at school. I can even put an H for home and an S for school. Now I need to find this missing number here. I'm going to use my counting down strategy for this problem to see what my missing number is. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So Amanda has six crayons at school. As you can see from these problems, some of them are addition, some are subtraction, some like this one, we can use a math mountain, and some we need to use our comparison bars. It is so important that when we do any type of word problem, that we really are reading detectives. We read the words very carefully so we can decide what we should do for each individual problem. They are all mixed up.